Okay, we're recording. Hello, everyone. Today is February 8th, and as the official community meeting for Harbor, uh, my name is Ulim Vasilev, and I'm the community manager for Harbor. I also try to do some DevRel kind of stuff for Harbor uh, for those of you who don't know me. Um, in the Slack, I'm sorry, in the Zoom chat, uh, I'm going to paste once again the link to our community meetings uh, notes. And I'm also going to open them and share them. So we can all see uh, what we're going to talk about. All right. All right. I hope you all can see that single window shared. Um, and let's see what kind of topics we have for today. Yeah. So a uh, few updates from my side. Uh, first, before we begin, um, our community uh, maintainers track for KubeCon was accepted for KubeCon. So congratulations, Vadim and Jan. They'll be the two maintainers who's going to represent uh, our little project at KubeCon for the maintainers track. Also, we have a kiosk uh, booth uh, for the like the, the afternoons for the three days. So whoever is going to join KubeCon is more than welcome to take some some time to spare on the booth, talk to people. Uh, we also requested to have a community, uh, I'm sorry, project meeting at KubeCon. And what else? Yeah, I think that's it, uh, right? Um, unfortunately, all the other harbor oriented talks were rejected. Um, but that, that KubeCon is facing again a record, a record um, number of CFPs submitted. So I think it was super hard. Uh, for everyone to to judge, I can say that because I was part of the the team who uh, made the discussions on the community and track one on one, and we had like double than the last time in Europe. So it was insane. Um, yep. So for this one, I'm gonna open the floor for everyone else. Uh, oh, and another thing. I'm sorry. Uh, we have been accepted to the Linux Foundation mentoring mentee kind of program. Uh, thanks again to Jan Wan and Vadim for jumping in to this one. Um, by the way, that's open for everyone else who wants to do the maintainer, um, men mentor thing. Um, so we were accepted with four projects. I'm going to show that uh, in a second. Let me, let me see if I can find that link super quick. Um, so we have, we, we applied with four, uh, with four, four projects, and they were all accepted. All project ideas. You can see them over here. So we practically translated some, some of the most common issues that we can see opened by the community. Uh, some more complex regex for the application rules. Uh, an effort to kick off a GoLang API client. Uh, API client. And to the next one was to implement um, uh, an overview of the CV per project or the whole Harbor instance. And the last one was uh, the robot accounts implementation, so they can have a full um, full access to the uh, API. So um, there was an issue by adding us to the Linux Foundation Mentor Mentee program. And we have an extra week because they screwed up something to be added on the list. So if you want to be part of the men mentor list, uh, we have listed right now Vadim and Jan, and for some I'm listed as well. Uh, but if you want to do the mentoring stuff, you can open the, the link over here. I'm going to paste that in the, in the community meetings, and you can see how you can sign up. So with that, some stuff popped up last week uh, when we were discussing some stuff. And for example, this proposal to be able to implement something that we spoke with Tom uh, once or twice, uh, a global disable or enable public repositories per the whole instance. So if you, take, if you can take a look at this one and add your thoughts on this one, it will be great. Uh, so we can have more, we can prioritize it um, and 
we can start working. Unfortunately, that brings me to another topic, which is Roger is not a PM anymore from our side for Haber. I cannot share more, more news about this one or reasons, but I'll keep you posted uh, what's going what's gonna to happen in the future with the role of PM. So that said, anyone else? I'm speaking too much today. So I'm going to shut up and uh, leave the floor for anyone else uh, who wants to, to talk about some issues or uh, something that we want to have discussed. I can see, Tom, uh, you've added something. Do you want to take it away? Yeah, I can quickly, uh, I have to go in about 20 minutes, but I can quickly uh, run through this. So <clears throat> one thing we've noticed is that basically, because this is kind of a uh, schedule, basically a cron job for running uh, vulnerability scans, right? So we use Trivi in our setup. Uh, which I would imagine most people do because it's quite easy. Um, and we've got it set up to do daily scanning. And as we see the amount of uh, artifacts in the registry increasing over time, we see kind of the, the queue for scanning getting longer and longer and longer. Um, and it also has quite an effect on the performance of the database. Um, so, uh, you know, CPU uh, usage on the database generally throughout the day is kind of like nominal right like uh, quite low uh, uh and then it comes to vulnerability scanning time and suddenly it's basically sitting at 100 percent for uh hours and as more artifacts get added um yeah that's only going to get worse and worse and worse and i can imagine it kind of spreading into work hours at some point um and i wrote up this proposal because it kind of seems to me that it could uh, potentially be done in a different way, the, the vulnerability scanning, like the scheduled kind of thing. So at the moment, it's basically a cron job that says, okay, at this time, go and uh, just scan everything, uh, which obviously has some issues as stuff gets bigger. Potentially, um, and this is kind of what I'm proposing, potentially, instead of doing it that way, it could be like a continuous job that's looking at, okay, when was this image last scanned? So you can set, kind of set goals, like, uh, you know, we want to uh, have images scanned every 24, 48, whatever hours. And then there's a, basically a constant running process that looks at when was this image last scanned? Uh, should I scan it again now? Yes or no? To kind of, so that there's a kind of, constant background hum of scanning rather than kind of just this all in one uh, thing. Now, obviously it has some implications because uh, then you've got more constant load over time. You can probably get quite still spikes and then it's a bit harder to predict when the spikes will be, at least with the current setup, you know, uh, okay, well, we know that there's always going to be a spike at this time uh, when Trivi starts its uh, thing. Um, but yeah, that's basically the proposal in a nutshell. I don't know if it's a good idea. This is kind of just uh, kind of what popped into my head when we were looking at this thing. Because uh, at the moment, we're looking to have to increase our database instance size purely to account for this uh, spike uh, that we notice. Uh, the rest of the day, we don't really have a huge amount of uh, consistent usage. Mm. Um, yeah, that. Did, did you look at the at the optimization side of the database. So what are the what are the long run running queries that might be optimized? You know, maybe you know some indexes, some uh, yeah, that that, that is on the next step. Yeah, unfortunately, we we didn't uh, look too uh, closely at the uh, using RDS and the default um, RDS logging is not great. So we've realized that after the fact. So we're going to be increasing the instance uh, type no matter what. So when we do that, we're going to enable the kind of slow log, uh, slow query logging and all that kind of stuff um, so that we can kind of get better insight into it. Mm. Um, but at the moment, we're using a, a T type instance, which is like a meant for burst, but we're kind of getting beyond the burst stage now with this uh, vulnerability mm. scanner. Yeah. Hey, Vadim, related question to this one. Do we have some kind, some kind of guide for opti optimizing the database for, for this stuff? Mm -hmm. no. It depends on, on the workloads, right? So it's more depending on the what type of workloads they are um, and operations they are. So that, you know, you need to, yeah, currently you need to, opt you need to see what is the database load and um, to optimize for different scenarios. But there is no, to my knowledge, there's no documentation on that. 
Okay. And same question goes to Wanyan and Jolin. Do we have something from VMware? I suppose we've done such things for for for, for customers. So you mean the database uh, optimization or? Uh, or... Yeah, so something like uh, a white uh, so... paper or best practices for optimizing database for Harbor, or I don't know how to name it, but something so, around. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, we we did some code change and and. Um, release by release to to resolve some uh, bottleneck that uh, reported by the community users and uh, our customers um um, um uh, i can share some uh, experience from one of our uh, uh, internal e, uh, mm -hmm. enterprise user um um, um they set up uh, the ha post postgres um 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 a kind of, uh, the the HA cluster uh, works well on uh, at their side and and we did some uh, tuning on their uh, they have a, a DBA database admin to help them to uh, figure out the, the bottleneck of their uh, uh, database instance to uh, add some uh, memory or 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 enlarge the database connection size. Uh, count on mm -hmm. um, yeah since okay. oh. oh. thank you uh, but, but it is case by case because yeah, sure. uh, the but different I, I think, yeah they yeah yeah but but I think we should because that's not the first time when we have someone saying hey our database is super struggling with the with the loads what we can do <clears throat> so maybe we can Think about it like streamlining it into like to take experience from VMware, container solutions, and now NS and, and combine it into one document and to be like, yeah, we don't guarantee the best performance out there, but if you do these simple steps, that will give you a bit more, right? Yeah. 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 I, I've, I've been kind of um, encountering this because now we've been using it for a while. So we're encountering kind of more, uh, you know, day two. Uh, operations kind of stuff um, and it's, it's more like the devil is in the details right so for example uh, you know we're using s3 for um, artifact storage and what we're noticing we've got versioning enabled we're noticing kind of over time uh, you know the amount of uh, storage is uh, kind of climbing quite intensely um, so like what it would be really nice is if we had a kind of community kind of contributed to page with um, for example, just implementation guidelines, like use at your own risk. But this is kind of from our experience, we've noticed this kind of stuff like uh, S3, enable a lifecycle rule to expire non-current versions after X amount of days and blah, 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 that kind of thing. Uh, I think it might be handy. Yeah, like a handbook for 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 have a user, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes, yeah. that's a good idea. Yeah. By the way, I, I still don't have the book. But uh, <laughs> I'm still waiting my my copy, by the way. Uh, but uh, uh, kidding uh, aside, uh, is there anything in the book about this stuff? Uh, you mean the database or or yeah. We we have some uh, FAQ. We list some uh, hot topics that ask from the community, and we and we give some answers on that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, by the way, Tom, uh, what is the current version that you, you get to use? I mean, Hubble version. Uh, I think we're pretty up to date. I think, uh, let me just grab mm. my code. I think we're on 2.7 at the moment or something along okay. those lines. That's, that's <laughs> really the latest one, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, think, uh, yeah. in the past uh, few release, uh, one year and the other maintainer or team member have done some uh performance improvement uh yeah. either in the uh circle i mean tuning the circle uh, or doing some code change to uh, improve the performance so just curious uh, what is the version you are using so if you still see there are some performance issue maybe you can open a ticket and uh, put some details on that so we can do some in investigation to see if there yeah. any code change needed support that yeah I've, my gut feeling is it's just the amount of uh um the amount of scanning that's happening um 
but we're gonna uh, what i'll do is once we've uh, enabled um the uh slow log uh slow query logging then uh we'll have some more data um unfortunately we need to basically re reboot the instances to uh, do that so uh yeah we're gonna we're trying to delay that a bit until we actually upgrade the instances but um once i've got that i'll create an issue for it okay yeah yeah we're on version uh uh, we're using the Helm chart, so one ten two at the moment. So I think that's pretty recent. One ten. Yeah, 110 of the Helm chart. So yeah. Ah, what well, Helm chart? Yeah, okay, sorry. I thought you. Yeah, got it. Yeah. So I appreciate that you you can fail a okay have an issue, and provide some uh, findings or details, database usage or or, or something else. Yeah, you know, CPU memory. So then we can, yep. yeah, we can work work with you to to provide some tuning experience. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Okay. Um. By the way, I mentioned a a book, and if you don't know, I'm not on mute, right? Uh, mm -hmm. we have that book out from. From Yan Wan, and and I'm sorry, but I cannot read that name properly. So I'm not even go, going even to try. Uh, Henry, so congratulations of the book out. <clears throat> uh, is that the only place where folks can buy this book? By the way, uh, I, I don't know. Sorry, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna link it in the community meetings anyway, and yeah. Uh, so you can, if you're interested, you can get a copy. Okay. Mm, what's next? Um, this one. Who wants to take this one? Do we have the... I'm not sure who opens this one. I cannot recognize it, this. This handle. I think he was here before. No, no I think no. Okay, but maybe we can open it. Yeah, I I did that. Okay. All right. Let's discuss what's the uh, quota checking. Yeah. So I think it's a it's a minor improvement here. Um. I checked the code. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm. Yeah, try um, to understand. Um, yeah, I have reviewed this PR already, but uh, uh, since the the change will impact the quota and the push scenario, so um, uh, I like to take more time to to do some more deep deep dive or uh, investigation on this part. Since mm -hmm. the, given the the change is not a big, but the the, the it impact the the push scenario. The, this is the one of the most. Uh, important scenario of harbor so um yeah uh i have already uh talked with the uh another a maintainer that who uh wrote the code on the code so um, um, um yeah I, I will follow up this this, this okay. pr but yeah but if you does, if you can provide some uh, feedback uh, in into the uh, okay uh, sure sure okay. yeah okay. yeah mm -hmm. And also, does someone know what the change is? I mean, it's like optimized quota, but and I didn't understand the code correctly, to be honest. Yeah, so because what, that what does... the, the yeah yeah the change the current logic to uh, um, intercept the the push uh, request for uh, manifest and blob. This is a. Uh, uh, a uh, quite important part of harbor so we should uh, be sensitive for this pr uh, i i i will not approve that before i i i totally understand the, the change and the, the mm. parts all the scenario that i i i can think about that no so um yeah it's, it will take time yeah okay i understand yeah because I didn't understand correctly what it uh, what is the change 
because the only change is, is here the function here. No, that's the test function. It's the no, it's this initiate block that's, upload. Well, this is the test function. So to the test. controller, um, it's this one here in YouTube Go because it, it doesn't re it mm -hmm. remove the checks check against current used resource and and then it does a you know resource list it returns a resource list instead of no hmm. so yeah I, I don't i don't know yeah okay so <clears throat> i'm not sure if it makes sense to discuss it now or do we want to take a look at it? And... I, I will. Tell me, have you, have you uh, finished in, the, in this uh, um, release? I, mm -hmm. I, will, I can do that. Right. Okay. And I wanted to open another one about the test environment. Give me a second to find it. These guys that are trying to, to use us to um yeah, but Tim, can you can you recall this one? We were taking a look at this one together once. Uh these guys that put it, their uh private key to the certificate in the PR. Ah, uh, this was the um, test environment, uh, PR yeah. environment. We, yeah, 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 but uh, what was the name? Of it? Um, something uh, like UN. It's a issue. No. Uh, uh, yeah, fuzzy. Yes, kind of fuzz, fuzzy. something. Fuzzy. It was fuzzy something, but uh, uh, it just sort sort updated. No, not updated description. Just sort open. PR open, and then. Uh, to newest. sort them how hmm. newest newest and newest yeah. yeah and it is scroll down scroll down scroll down ah yes UPZ yeah. whatever UPZ uh, yes exactly yeah. this one okay. So I wanted to bring that up because it sounds pretty cool. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And if you can take a look, uh, practically they want to, as part of the CI, uh, yeah. they want to integrate Harbor into, so it's part of our CI to spin up a Harbor in their environment so we can do the tests on live machines. And then when the PR is closed, they're going to destroy the instance. So this stuff like the, um, the quota testing, we can have them more easily up and for user kind of testing. So if you can take a look at this one, sounds cool. So yeah, I'm I'm not voting pro, pro um, or con this one. It just it's um, just interesting PR, uh, which is not related to the project, but from user and contributor perspective, it's going to be useful. I think. Um, um i i saw him uh, i saw him um um uh, created several p pull requests for different uh, open source project mm -hmm. um, yeah i think um, i think they're trying yeah, to yeah so it's, yeah yeah so yeah. i i mean that the, we can monitor their action to see whether they they decide to accept that uh yeah. Um, yeah because that uh, it seems that they wanted to advertising their product right yeah. We, yeah. We, yeah, we yeah, within the CNSM community. So so we can uh, see other teams uh <laughs> yep, yep. so do, do, do you have examples or on other projects that have dotted that thing? Uh, uh let me I mean um, I mean know. if you have them we can take a look all together and, and okay okay and decide so, um, if it's good or not for our project. Oh. Ryan, uh, oh, I'm sorry, Brian. Tom, are you going to dance or what are you going to do? Uh, I, I, when I, yeah, I will sh sh 
send uh, send your link uh, when sure. I get it. Okay, and I'm I'm gonna add it into the community meeting. All right. Um, any other topics? If not, I I want to give the time. We have two new folks on on the call to present. And there is uh, no regarding the issues. Um, there is one issue uh, not discussed. Um, this table uh, again. The, the first one. It's it's yours. Like, oh, uh, this, yeah. I think you missed sure. it, right? The anonymous I'm not access. sure. I'm not sure. I think we. I. I Maybe I, I I was thinking about mentioning it. Thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, th there is a proposal to to implement a, a global enable disable anonymous access. Um, so if you can take a look at this one, mm -hmm. so we can yeah, take some some yeah. Go ahead with him. I think you. I would like to add to people. this proposal something, and it is related to you know a few vulnerability reports that we received recently with these false positives that we got, and and I think this will address this issue. So, because when you have the possibility to make projects like, uh, if you go to the description in in the proposal, um, because the proposal just says like an anonymous access disabling, but I think if we can make it like a bit like a Git GitLab. Scroll down, scroll down to Tianon mentioned this, and I think it's a really good idea. So if we would have something like this in, in Harbor, right? Uh, like restricted visibility levels, like private, internal, public. Uh, and this would allow, for example, internal users to access uh, the, the, uh, the images or public or private. So this would make, you know, you know I would say projects, uh, projects, and also the the whole registry, private, internal, or public. And I think this would be a, a great improvement in, um, in Harbor if this would be this would would be existing. Yeah, and Tom left, but uh, we were oh. ha having a chat with him, and he said that his first job when he arrives at work is to open Harbor and to see how many public repositories there are created, and to go and. After the folks who created them to close them because uh, that can bring some some issues. And if we, as far as I understand that thing, uh, if we implement this thing, that issue will go away, right? Yeah, because mostly people put it private or internal. Only. Yeah, that, that to allow to encapsulate the the whole instance. Let's put put it this way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, but the per TNS uh, commas is is not related with the this proposal. I I believe so. The yeah. the title of of this PR is enable disable anonymous access. But uh, Tiana uh, uh, provide a three states opinion for for mm -hmm. this, but they are not, seems not 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 the same, right? Uh. Yeah. It goes to the same direction, but it's not the proposal. That's correct. So maybe we either should close the proposal and create a new one. Based. Uh, you mean there. you mean the for for the TNS commas? We want to introduce uh, one more state for 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 Jack, like in, internal, right? Yeah, I I would prop I would, yeah, I would actually favor uh -huh. the proposal from T uh, Tianon, and then I either. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Change the 124 or close it and create a new one. So create a new uh, one and close 124 or uh, accept 124 under the condition it is implemented uh, like Tianan suggested. So it, it depends how we how we do it. Yeah, I prefer we can close it the, the the one two four and then we can raise another. Okay. Uh, and you can you can talk to Tiana. Tiana and and um, actually, was a, a a maintainer of Harbor. Um, yeah, but and, and yeah, he he. I, I can I can create uh, a one new one if you. Yeah, yeah I can create a new has, proposal. Yes. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. If we all agree that that such functionality is needed, uh, we can close this one and all the interested parties in this one to implement it. We can like set up an hour. Oh, just to figure out which direction we want to go and to craft out the, the, the new proposal. What do you think? Is it waste of time mm -hmm. or 
Or... But I think it's clear from the requirement, you know, I think they, the... sure. so I, I would just create a new proposal and there is no mm -hmm. much to discuss, I would say. Okay. So, uh, Vadim, are you going to take this one or? Yeah, I can create the one. Okay, cool. Uh, it sounds like a commercial uh, request. So we can uh, uh, send up to the user group to let them know uh, whether they want this feature or not to, to give us some, give us some feedback uh, from perspective of their uh, enterprise use. So uh, so yeah, once we, can... we have the yeah, yeah, proposal, so we can send our link to the CNCF mm -hmm. uh, Harvard user channel, right? So to mm -hmm. hear their thought yeah. on this part, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Uh, Vadim, if you think I can help out with, with this one, just drop me a line, okay? Okay. Yeah. Like putting it out or whatever you think I can I can be in help. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. So, uh, anything else? From um, that list that I... I, I just uh, paste a link uh, yeah. in the trial. Uh -huh. So you can open that. Um, base. Yeah, the Did same. Close yeah. this one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's it's why. The same, so, it's the same person, right? So, yeah, same yeah. PR, same person. No, no, no. Okay, I can. Yeah. I'll track down all the others that he or his company opened to other projects because I think mm -hmm. it's relatively the same naming. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, we'll mm -hmm. add them to, to our wiki page so we can take a look and decide how we can go with this one. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, but uh, yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Because that's, no, that's not ours. That's, that's theirs again. But yeah. yeah. It's pretty much the same wording. So yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it won't be Just... super complicated to find all this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it was like a red flag for me, at least, that they've committed their uh, private keys to the to the PR. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so, um, okay. So uh, I'm gonna link also that thing to the um, to our community meetings, and until when I'm doing this one, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, but Part, can you can you introduce yourself, please? Oh, definitely. So, hi everyone, I'm Bartha Gurwal. I'm pursuing my undergrad at IIT BHU from India, and I've worked on open source projects like Vactil and other communities like Pardata and CNCF Bitev. I'm currently an outreach mentor at Vactil, and I'm looking forward to apply for Regex replication project at Harbor. Nice. Um, did you did you apply through the uh, the um, the mentoring program or? Yep, I've applied. I've applied yeah. and submitted my cover letter and resume. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, as I said in the very beginning, um, there will be some delays in the process of approving all the applications and stuff. So welcome, and I think you also. Um, uh, submitted some some PRs to the to the website, right? And yeah, some some fixings, some words. Good first step. Thank you and welcome to the club. You can see the, so the folks over here. So practically, that's the the core team that works on on Harbor. Uh, of course, there's some some missing, but uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to us anytime you need some some help. Uh, I cannot promise we'll respond right away, but yeah, we'll be around. So, yep, welcome. And yeah, Tom left, but I, I can, I can, I'm not sure if everyone else has seen Tom, but Tom is from the, uh, the Netherlands railway system, and they have adopted Harbor. Uh, so we had a chat a week or two ago about their implementation and that they want to be more active and more contributing to the project as they rely quite a lot in Harbor, so that they feel responsible to commute back um, to the community, to contribute back to the community. 
So yeah, I'm not trying to take his words out, but yeah, that's that was pretty much what we chatted about. Uh, yeah. So with that, I don't have anything else for today. Um, I'm gonna work on the KubeCon organization so we can have some swag, some. Yeah, we can do some breakfast or even dinner. Depends on the amount of people that we can get there and what you think that I can get. So, oh, sorry, Ali. Just now, yeah. I, I, I yeah, sure, sure. One thing coming to my head. Uh, previously, when, when we talk about the one dot one dot eight uh, release planning, we have a new milestone named feature freeze. Right at that time, the uh, that milestone date is uh, Feb February six. So I think uh, we have already reached that phase. So the payload for 2.8 release will be, uh, I mean, to be finalized. Uh, we will not introduce any new functionality, uh, except that is a big uh, issues or other uh, important <coughs> functionality impact uh, uh, ticket. So. That's something I want to share in this meeting. So, to... so uh, uh, can you add that to the to the community notes, please? Um, so, uh, so... No problem. Uh, I no. will add that. So, so you're saying we uh, reached to the point? Yeah. Where if we... you if you scroll down to the yeah general discussed... eleven yeah. topic this one right? Yeah. Scroll down. Uh, yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so that means we want add new candidates and targets for two eight from right. yesterday, right. the day before. Okay. Yeah. So whatever new stuff comes in, uh, it will be targeted for two nine, or right. Uh, two nine. Uh, yeah, two right, right. Yeah. Yeah. That is okay. the intention. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just it should be to... two nine candidate, right? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. wrong wording, okay. wrong wording. Now, I was, I was just trying to say we're gonna target them to get into two nine, so they will become two nine candidates at first. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah, right. Okay. My bad. Okay. My bad. All right. Okay. Anything else, um, folks? Anything that needs public attention and we want to discuss it not from my side nice okay with that thank you very much it was in my uh eyes it was a very productive meeting so welcome to the new folks on board and talk to you in two weeks right thank you bye bye thank you bye thank you bye, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.